Hi, I'm Mary Peterson. I'm here with Shaw TV, ready to interview Crystal Colt about Flim Flon Culture Days 2017. Hi, Crystal. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Really good. Good. Really good. Excited about yet another season of Culture Days. Yes. 2017. Very exciting. So what are some of the main events that you're really looking forward to? Well, after eight years, we're starting to really uh, understand the clusters of events that we can really do well. One of them is um, at Creekside, and you'll probably hear more of that. There's a couple of girls that are organizing our uh, wild things village outdoor village and that we're going to be having even more events happening there are more special guests that'll be there we're going to be having uh, a showcase of our first pilot cor uh, course for the Interpol CAE so you're going to see triple interesting things there and just a whole slew of crafters and and vendors there that you can buy things from and enjoy uh, enjoy the amazing culture from our region Perfect, and I think they're even doing a beer gardens and some live music this year. Yes, and they're looking at uh, uh, Manitoban beers and Canadian beers, so that's going to be the future. We're going to be selling, uh, celebrating our our area, and that includes our beers. So awesome! It's a long time. Yeah, looking forward to it. And then we have um, at the library Friday night human books, right? One of our favorite things. Yeah. Courtney is taking over from our uh, our fabulous Cindy McLean, so it's, we've moved on to a fabulous Courtney Campbell, who is taking us to yet another level um, of the, the library with human books and she already has just a slew of, of amazing keynote speakers. I'm sure she's going to be coming and talking about it. And the something about human books, it's just this upper end uh, celebration where there's specialty wines and cheeses but even more so you get a chance to really talk to interesting people and hear their story and learn from learn from their stories and and it's always always really rich yeah wine and great conversation you can't really go wrong yeah. with that yeah, it's always good. Yeah, and then so Saturday we've got some exciting things. Dancing down Main Street, one of my favorite. Oh well, nope, you got so on Sunday. To, oh, that's <laughs> so on Sunday. Sunday. Sunday's dancing down Main Street. Yes, okay. but you're right. Saturday is going to be just filled to the rafters. Um, there's going to be special things like from the NCCAE uh, course, the Building Knowledge course. There's going to be um, a special guest that is going to be spending 12 hours tra doing an art installation from all the work that's been collected in the past oh. year. Yeah, so there's gonna we're calling it the magic breakfast where there is going to be just this amazing experience for you to to uh, explore there uh, there is going to be at the rotary wheel again the fabulous kids culture with everything oh, you great. want there the mm -hmm. the aboriginal friendship center will be there with their their sacred teachings there's going to be the recycled art there's going to be entertainment is going to be there next year um, I mean, next year next for this coming culture days and uh, because last year we actually had a bit of rain and and uh, yeah <laughs> and so we'll just wait until the semi trailer goes by because <laughs> we continue to you can't really plan that but. no but you know we're we're a bustling town yes we are there's, yeah. this is as you can tell there's action happening here in Flintwood all the time and uh and especially during culture days and so anyway so there um at the rotary wheel we're going to be having entertainment there there's going to be crafts there's going to be fish pond and you know who has a real fish pond i mean there's a real pond there with fish oh they're using obviously the pond that's there there's the real pond okay, with, the, with real cool. fish yeah. and so you can try your hand and everybody gets to leave with something whether or not wow. you catch your fish you'll get a bag of of uh, gummy worms and uh, okay. some fun things to have so so that's um that is amazing puff the clown yeah. isaac the juggler it's that's always a great time so there's those clusters that are happening um, around town all day saturday raf um hopefully we'll get a chance to hear him but our raf raf Saray is a local um uh, broadcaster here in flimflon with uh, arctic radio and uh, you know much loved but he's also a playwright and he produced a show for the winnipeg fringe festival that i actually had a chance to see oh, waiting great. for trudeau and it's going to be performed here twice and he's doing it as a radio play and that was a humongous hit last oh, good, year. Good. So okay. uh, we're super, super excited to be able to have that mm -hmm. as well. So um, between that, there is 
we're going to be having somebody teaching hula dancing, like hula hula. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. That's so cool. I know. Yeah. And it's the real, you know, the hula hula. Okay. And mm-hmm. uh, this person apparently had many years as a professional hula dancer, so she's going to be teaching that, as well as we have another person that was a professional makeup artist that'll be yeah. uh, doing that, j- okay. teaching that just before the hula dancing. So between the hula dancing yes. and then going to the kids' culture and seeing the entertainment and going to the ton of things happening. So much the, happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I've also heard that we're going to be having a taste of flim flon for the first time this year what's that taste of flim flon um around the country you'll have a thing called like a taste of winnipeg or taste of manitoba where you have a a featured um um, eateries get together and showcase their food so you can sort of taste and and buy their food so there's that we have the orange toad of course um we have our wonderful ann doug and ann that are uh, uh, performing at the orange toad on saturday we call it totally rock Oh, and so great. Yeah, see, I always come uh-huh. up with these names. And so and nobody stops me yet. You know, just to keep coming. What about this name? At least we have to do something. And uh, and there um, there's so many there's there are going to be over a hundred events again. I'm thinking it's gonna be closer to hundred and twenty by the time we're in. I'm shooting for hundred and fifty. This is the message okay. I want okay. when Let's it comes up. down to it, is that everything is um, an event. So if you play the guitar and you want to come out and just play jam at the Creekside as a, as a troubadour, you get to have your own space on our website. We actually are one of the few uh, places in Canada that will have our microsite. So you'll be able to go right to culturedays.ca. We have our own Flim Flon website that you'll be able to see instantly see all of our events there. So I challenge everybody. I've told everybody across uh, Canada that we have, I think the census says, we have about 5,212 people between Flim Flon Manitoba and Flim Flon Saskatchewan. So we only have 120 events. We have a lot of 5,000 more events that we can handle here. So yeah. anybody that wants to show off anything, this is your time. I don't card tricks. I haven't seen anybody do card tricks yet. Have okay. you? No, we need seen. a magician here. We need a magician. Yeah. We don't have card tricks. We don't have magicians. I don't see anybody swirling plates around. Well, actually, Isaac does that. We there <laughs> are things. We what about finger painting? There's got to be finger yeah. painting artists around. Um, there is. So much that we still need to celebrate, mm-hmm. and that's just the beginning. So come on, as my best buddy Susan Lethbridge says, show your show off your culture, and uh, let's see what you guys have. Call the Arts Council, or just can't reach me because I'm running around too much. Go online mm-hmm. and enter your own event. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Crystal. Any last words about any events? Well, one of my favorites is, of course, dancing down Main Street. Yes. It's one of these things that is so completely joyful. It it's is. a community. Mm-hmm. It's a community experience. You do not need to dance. We've invited pets. We always have dogs dancing down Main Street with us. Uh, you, anybody can dance. I don't care whether you're two or ninety-two. Come on out and have a good time with us. It's a celebration. Do you know the song yet? You know what? I think that one is still under wraps. But I can tell you that our uh, our choreographer is the fabulous Christy Janvier. Uh, Christy Janvier had been hired by Disney as one of the Disney princesses. She had lived in Tokyo. She's also an extraordinary contemporary dancer. And uh, and so we're so excited to be able to have her lead us in dance this year. So, you know, come and come and see a princess. Perfect. Yeah, the dream job, you know, you know Disney princess. We all think we're meant to be it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <but> <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much, Crystal. And the Dancing Down Main Street is Sunday, so don't miss it. And that's all here with Crystal Colt.